Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice queries problem? From here, we can write this as root 3 times 5. Same thing as root 15, then plus. Here we have root 3 times 7. Same thing as root 21, then plus. Here we have root 5 times 5. Same thing as root 25, then plus. Here we have root 5 times 7. Same thing as root 35. Then divided by what we have here is root 3 plus root 7. Then plus. Here we can also write this as root 4 times 5. Then from the law of sort like this, we can separate this into two new roots and this will become root 3 times root 5 plus here we have root 3 times root 7 then plus this becomes root 5 times root 5 and also here we have plus root 5 times root 7 then divided by the denominator here too, we have root 3 plus root 7 then plus root 4 times root 5. Then from here, <coughs> what is common between these two, we can factor it out. And this gives us root 3 common. So what remains here is root 5. Then plus what we mean here is root 7. Then also from these two things, what is common we can factor out, which is root 5. Then what we mean here we have root 5 plus root 7 as well. Then divided by what we have in the denominator here, we can write it as root 3 plus root 7 then plus here we have 2 root 5 root 4 is 2 there then next we have root 5 plus root 7 common when we factor that again so we have root 5 plus root 7 out then what is left here we have root 3 then plus what is left here we have root 5 then divided by in the denominator here we have root 3 plus root 7 then plus what we have now write this as root 5 plus root 5 same thing as 2 root 5 so don't let us glue this together here so let's still remove this bracket here then, so that here, we can group root 3 and root 5 together, and this can be written as, what we have of now, we have root 5 plus root 7, multiplied by root 3 plus root 5, then divided by, here, we can group this, and this become root 3 plus root 5 together then plus now we have root 7 then plus root 5 as well together then such that we have same thing in this bracket and this bracket and also in this bracket and this bracket we have the same thing now we can use a letter to represent each of this so let a now be equals to root 7 plus root 5 and let b be equals to root, you know, I can write it as root 5 plus root 3 as well from there. And then here now we can now say this is a times b. So let x now, a letter now be equals to 
A, B, that's A times B over, here we have B plus A. So we have B plus A. Then from here, we can take the reciprocal on both sides. And here this will become 1 over x, which is equal to here we become b plus a over ab. Then we can say that 1 over x here now equals to when we separate this into two fractions, this become b over ab, then plus a over ab. Then this will reduce to here b we cancel out. And here we cancel out, so this will reduce to 1 over x equals to 1 over a plus 1 over b. And from the value of a, which is root 7 plus root 5, we can say 1 over x now we equals to 1 over root 7 plus root 5. Then plus here 1 over b, that's 1 over root 5. Plus root 3. Then in the next step, we have this fraction, you know, which is sort here, which means we can rationalize each of these sort. And this we have 1 over x now equals to 1 over root 7 plus root 5. Then when we rationalize this, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate sort here which is root 7 minus root 5 also we multiply this by root 7 minus root 5 then also plus similar thing here we rationalize this which is 1 over root 5 minus root sorry plus root 3 then we multiply by the conjugate sort as well which is root 5 minus root 3 and also we multiply this at this root 5 minus root 3. Then when we solve further from here, so we have 1 over x now will be equal to here. We still have root 7 minus root 5 up. Then divided by here, we have conjugates of which is root 7 squared minus root 5 squared now then we have plus similarly here we have what we have up here still remain root 5 minus root 3 then divided by here also conjugate so we have root 5 square minus root 3 square then from here it becomes 1 over x now equals to here we have root 7 minus root 5 over here square cancel square root that 7 square cancel square root that 5 7 minus 5 here that's 2 then plus also we have root 5 minus root 3 then divided by also square cancel square root square cancel square root 5 minus 3 that's 2 then we can, of course, put this together as one fraction. The SCM is 2. Then what we have up will still be root 7 minus root 5. Then plus also root 5 minus root 3. And uh, that's our 1 over x. Then root 5 plus root 5 we cancel out. Then 1 over x becomes root 7 minus root 3 over 2. Then we have 1 over x, but what you want to find here is x. So we take the reciprocal again. This will become x, which is now equals to 2 over root 7 minus root 3. Then we can rationalize this sort again and uh, we multiply by the conjugate sort, also divide by that. That's root 7 plus root 3. Then also here multiply by root 7 plus root 3. 
And here, we have this become x equals to 2 multiplied by root 7 plus root 3. Then divided by, here we have also conjugate sort, which is root 7 squared minus root 3 squared. Then what we have then becomes x equal to 2 multiplied by root 7 plus root 3. Then divided by, since square cancel square root here, also square cancel square root, we have 7 minus 3, and that's 4. Then, 2 can go here 1, 2 go here 2. Then x now equals to root 7 plus root 3 over 2. So this is what we have in this given uh, problem. And uh, therefore, what is given is now the same thing as has been simplified as root 7 plus root 3 over so thank you for watching don't forget to press subscribe to this channel in order not to miss out and turn the notification bell on see you next class and bye for now